Parteta Learning Platform. And in this series of uh, C++ tips and tricks, we are going to discuss about the use of SeekG and SeekP functions. And also we will see the use of tail P and tail G functions with respect to the file handling uh, topic that we are discussing these days. So uh, let us see first the use of the seek G and tail G. Okay, so seek G means seeking a get position. What is the get position? Get means when we are writing, when you are reading, not writing, when you are reading, at that time you need to find out which position you want to be in or which position you are currently in. If you want to know these things or if you want to say these things, then in that case you use the seek P and seek G. So just remember from G, that G stands for get. Get means when you are getting something, which means that you are reading something. So seek G is used for seeking a particular location inside the file. Okay. Suppose I have this file which I will be opening. Uh, okay. This is the file test.txt. And in this you can see like there are a number of things written. Vikash Kumar. These are the three strings that have been written. Suppose I want to set, while, while I am reading the file, suppose I want to set uh, my file pointer to this position and start reading from here or if I want to set my uh, file pointer to this position and start reading from the uh, second line or if I want to start reading from the fifth characters from the last. Okay, So either you are in the current position if you want to move ahead or if you are at the beginning of the file, when you open, then you are at the beginning of the file by default. But if you want that you don't want to read it from the beginning, you can set it to some other uh, uh, other location after some bytes you can set it or you want that if you want to set uh, the current uh, your your file pointer to uh, from the end of some position like from end you want to set it to the minus fifth position in that case you can use the seek G. Okay, so let us see how we can use the seek G and how the output uh, will be there when you will be running this. So let us run this and let us first. Uh, uh, create a program. So I am just going to create uh, one uh, if, uh, I, if stream object which is basically used to create uh, a file object which you want to read. Okay, so I file and here you can just simply write like this and then I file dot open. I am opening the file and this file was at location C because and text.txt. And then I'm going to uh, open it for iOS, open it for in. In means for reading. If you have to write something, then you create the object of off stream and you mark it as iOS out. And if you don't provide this iOS in, then also by default, uh, the mode will be the reading mode. If you create an if, uh, if a stream object and if you have not provided any iOS in, then then by default it is in only it is for reading only okay so here we can see that it will be opening it to read the file and now we are going to read it from uh, some position so i have opened the file but i want to read from the fifth position from the beginning because when you open a file for reading then in that case your file pointer will be set at the beginning okay your file pointer uh, will be uh, something like here let me open this. So your file pointer will be at the beginning. If, if I start reading the strings, then it will read like Vikas, right? But I don't want to read it from there. Okay, I want to read it uh, after the sixth or seventh position. Okay, so let us assume that we want to read it after the sixth position for the entire string. Okay, so what I can do, I can write like I file dot seek g. So I want to get it from the uh, fifth position from the beginning. So by default you are at the beginning, so you can simply write like third position. There are two uh, there are two uh, variations of this function seek g. One is it takes only the position from the beginning or from the current position. Your current position is the beginning, so it will be like uh, only take one argument. Of, I mean, after how many uh, bytes you you want to read from the current position, that is the thing when you use the one argument function. And if you use the two argument function, you can see that there are two arguments. One is uh, the offset, which means that after how many bytes you want to read it and from which position that is indicated by the second argument. So first we will see the first, argu uh, first function, uh, which will be setting it at the uh, fifth or sixth position. And let us see 
if I set it at the sixth position and if I write, uh, if I read the very first line, then what happens? So I'm just going to read it inside a string, so which is of length 20. And if I read it, in that case, what I can do, I can simply write like I file and str. So if I do like this, and if I do like C out ENDL and str, then it should print it. Okay. And then after that, the important thing, I file dot close. Okay. So let us see what happens now what it should print. So let us open our file and let's see uh, where from where it should read. So we have set it from the sixth position. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So after H, it will start reading this Kumar. So it should print Kumar. Okay, so it has read Kumar. You can see that it has set it, as, it at the sixth position. So it is reading as Kumar. So since I'm reading only one uh, string, so that is why it is only uh, getting the first string uh, or the first line. And uh, from the uh, uh, and on the first line itself, we have set it at the sixth position, right? So that is why it has only printed it from the sixth position, uh, the, the string, whatever the string contains from the sixth position for that string, it is printing. Okay, so if I don't do this, if I just comment this, then it will show Vikas Kumar because this is reading the first, uh, first line. So it will show you Vikas Kumar. Okay, because after the space, it, it will not be able to read. So it is only showing Vikas. Okay, so for reading entire, you need to use the gate line. Okay, if you want to read the entire string, then uh, you need to uh, do something like this gate line. So in that case, it will uh, read the entire string. So it will be like uh, str. And then how many characters you want to read 20. So now if you want to get the entire string, entire line, even including the space, then in that case, you use the gate line. So now you will get Vikas Kumar. Okay. So this is the way you can get the strings uh, from a particular position. So now let us see, let's not do this. Let's simply use for it for the, you know, STRs so that we can easily understand it. Now what I want that I want to set um, my uh, file pointer from the end. I want to set it at the uh, sixth, uh, fifth positions from the end. So from here, I want to move five positions backward. So I want to print only this thing. Okay. So I need to be at the end and we need to set the offset as the minus five, five positions back. So what, how, how we can do that? So what we need to do, we need to simply use this uh, two argument uh, function. So first I will set it minus five L L for long and uh, the second argument is from where since I have to set it from the end so I will use it like IOS end okay so from the end minus five positions from the end five positions back I need to go so it what it will do it will go to the uh, you know fifth position here uh, last position and from the last it will set it at the fifth position one two three four five so here it will set so it should print minus, uh, it should print a uh, sing. Okay. So let us run this. So you can see it has printed sing. Okay. So this is how you can set it. Okay. Now after seek G, we need to see the tail G. Okay. I have set it at seek G at the minus fifth position. So I want to see just for the ver uh, verification, I want to see where uh, my file pointer is. So I file dot uh, tell G. So if I do this, then let us see what comes in the, uh, you know, K. So it will tell me what is the position. So if I see this K value, it comes out to be 36. So it is at the 36th position. So if in the seek G, if I put say 36 simply in the one argument function, then also it will print sync. Okay. So at this time it is at this 36 position. So let us play around it and let us set the first function in the first function. Let us set it 36. So 36, what it means that we are going to set it from the beginning 
at the 36th position in the file we are going to set the get pointer from where we are reading so let us see what happens so this time as well it will print sing okay so let us just run it so if you see you will be able to see sing so this has printed so with the help of tell g you can find out at what position your gate pointer is so tell g means tell me where is the gate where is my gate pointer so that is uh, uh, the use of tell uh, tell g and that was